Hey everybody, Brian Hoagley. Welcome back to CISO Life, brought to you by Side Channel. You can find me anywhere on YouTube. Feel free to subscribe, hit that bell to get the updates. Had a lot of good conversations over the last uh, you know, couple weeks. We're into January now, 2024. Happy New Year, everybody. And just came off of a great podcast with Dave Barton and the Highwire team. Check them out on you know what we're looking at from detection response, but also protection. Now, if you're looking at this, you're obviously going to know that we have identify and recovery sitting out here. Really want to focus in on these three things today. And the question was posed, you know, what's more important? You know, it's and it's not an either or. This is not either or on which one. They are both relevant. They are both important. And let's talk about why. So when we're expecting, you know, problems to start coming into an environment, right? Issues are going to start, you know, attacks are going to happen. Bad people are going to try to do bad things. Obviously, if you haven't identified your environment first, right, it's going to be very hard to protect and then detect what's going on. But again, there is this, there is this barrier. There is this point in time when protections have fallen and you need to get into detection and response. But the pendulum doesn't need to swing to which one do you invest in more or the other. They're supposed to inform each other, right? Your identification is supposed to tell you what you're supposed to be protecting. And that is very, very important. So whether you are using and implementing some type of MFA in your environment or you're doing some type of zero trust, maybe you're implementing micro-segmentation via Enclave, there needs to be some type of roles-based access control, some type of structure set up where you are allowing and disallowing selected traffic, selected accesses, whatever it is. Make it very clear. This is supposed to talk to that. That is not supposed to talk to this, right? Detection and response comes in when protections have failed or things that you didn't know you were supposed to be protecting are now being accessed. And that's where detection and response steps in. And this is where you're traditionally going to have some type of, you know, EDR solution to be able to do detection and response. So I think we need to get out of this, you know, or conversation. It's not an either or, which one is better, right? It's both. And they are a combination of capabilities that's really going to improve your security posture. So I don't think it's important to, you know, again, not focus on one or the other, but put together a strategy and a plan that's going to allow you to see both of these. And heck, actually, while you're at it, Maybe invest a little bit of time on identification of your environment so that you know what to protect and to detect. And let's not forget about what we're doing with IT in our recovery operations. But we'll get to that some other time. Anyway, just some thoughts for you. Hope this is going well. Stay safe out there. Be good. We'll talk to you next time.